Sunath presents Mandukya Santwani. A confluence of the Mandukya Upanishad and Santwani, the poetry of saints across India. Mandukya Upanishad, 12 verses that offer a direct line to the divinity that lies within each of us, taking from everyday experiences. This Upanishad reveals the core of our consciousness, which is our very essence. Saints from all over India, across centuries, have made an intimate discovery of this divinity that lies within. These were all kinds of people. A cobbler, a weaver, a king, a queen, a teenager, an accountant. They poured their lived experiences into verses in the language of the people. These verses in 10 different languages, as well as the shlokas of the Mandukya Upanishad in Sanskrit, will be sung in Drupad, the most ancient form of classical music. We will render these compositions in 16 different ragas and nine different tals. This is an offering of joy from all of us in Sunad. So sit back, relax, and enter the world of the saints of Drupad and the forest academies of the Upanishads. That was the first verse of the Mandukya Upanishad, which comes at the end of the Atharva Veda. The Upanishads contain the essential philosophy of all the Vedas. Really? Shall we? She wants to give you a clue as to what the word Mandukya means. So go ahead.
it is a frog manduka after which mandukya upanishad is named but why do you think an upanishad is named after a frog well it is said that varun dev the lord of rain took on the form of a frog and taught this upanishad as mandukya rishi but why a frog well probably it is a metaphor as a frog can live both on land and water yes you're right a rishi who has seen the truth can live here and there he can live in the world like all of us but his mind is centered out there so shall we see how mandukya upanishad can help us live on land and water the first shloka all this is om the indestructible syllable om is what was what is and what shall be all that is beyond the past present and future that too is om कोई प्रारंभ माने तो वो है ओंकार ब्रह्मनाद संपूर्ण प्रकट अस्तित्व में ओम ही समाया है भूत वर्तमान भविष्य और इनसे परे भी ओम की ध्वनि ही है इसका ना आदि ना अंत आदि अंत आनंद परम पद Raidas In the 15th century he sang this verse that resonates with the first shloka of the Mandukya Upanishad His verse what's the expression of his realization of the parama pada the supreme reality just as the mandukya shloka explains that om the word contains everything in the universe and is the past present future and beyond so does raidas explain parama pada as adi the beginning anta the end and madi all that lies in between raidas was a chama a cobbler and was considered untouchable he was even denied entry into the temples kahe raidas प्रकाश परम पद का जप तप भ्रत पूजा सेस रैदास वंस आई हैव सीन द अल्टीमेट ट्रूथ व्हाट नीड हैव आई ऑफ एनी रिचुअल और एनी वर्शिप मन मेरे सोई सरु विचार मन मेरे सोई सरूप विचार आदी अंत अनंत परम पद संसे सकल निवार मन मेरे सोई सरूप विचार
legend in the Puranas relates the tale of Brahma and the Devas discussing a plan to hide divinity from man. Where shall we hide it, asked the Devas? Let us bury deep underground. No, said Brahma, man is clever. He will soon dig it up from the earth. Oh, well then, let us take it to the deepest ocean and hide it there, said the Devas. No, said Brahma, man is innovative. He will dive to the greatest depths and dig it up from the seabed. Ah, oh, then let us take it to the highest mountain and hide it there, said the Devas. No, said Brahma, man is relentless. He will climb the highest peak and find it there. Well, where then, asked the Devas. Brahma thought for a moment, then said, Let us hide it within man himself. He will never search for it there. Hridaya kuhara madhye Kevalam brahmaha matram Hi aham aham ehi Sakshat atma rupe On a hot July day in 1896 in Madurai, 17-year-old Venkatraman had a sudden premonition of death. Shaken to the core, he lay on the ground, stiffened his limbs, closed his lips and thought, Is this death? I will be taken to the cremation ground and burned to ashes? But is it I or my body that will be burned? Years later, recounting this episode, Ramana Maharishi, boy, it was he, as a young man who went through this experience, said that he had felt the full force of the voice of I within himself. He said, the body dies, but I am the deathless spirit. This realization flashed through me vividly as living truth. Fear of death vanished. Other thoughts may come and go, like the various notes of music. But the I remains like the fundamental Shruti note that underlies and blends with all the other notes. In a beautiful verse, recounting his continuous experience, he said, In the heart cave, the Brahman alone shines in the form of the Atman, proclaiming, It is I, it is I. <laughs> that Ramana Maharshi experienced is so clear in the second verse of the Mandukya Upanishad. It refers to the Supreme Self as Brahman. All this is Brahman. The Self within, the Atma is Brahman. The Atma has four states. 
सर्वस्व ब्रह्म है आत्मा भी ब्रह्म ही है इसकी चेतना की चार अवस्थाएं हैं Just as Ramana Maharshi realized that the Brahman shines within each of us as the Atman, so did Akka Mahadevi experience her merging with her Lord. When the knowing dissolves in you, whom do I know? These were the words of Akka Mahadevi, a wandering ascetic who was once a queen. Married to a Jain king, she angered him by showing no interest in being his wife. She said, But I told you this when you insisted on marrying me that my body and soul belong to my Channa Mallikarjuna. Then why, said the angry king, are you enjoying all the luxuries that I have provided for you? Very calmly, Mahadevi replied, I don't want anything from you, O king. Take it all back. Nang ye nu beda. I am going in search of my beloved Shiva. She threw off all her jewels, unclasped her hair, shed all her clothes, and walked out with only her long hair covering her naked body. <laughs> This woman is a whore. She needs to be thrown out of the village. I'm no woman, brother. No whore. Every time you've looked at me, what have you taken me for? All men other than Channa Mallikarjuna are faces to be shunned. See, brother. When my body becomes you, whom do I serve? When my mind becomes you, whom do I think about? When my breath becomes you, whom do I praise? When the knowing dissolves in you, whom do I know? It's not easy. Let us move to another part of India to listen to another remarkable woman's journey. 14th century Kashmir. Political upheavals. The land is simmering. Its social and cultural fabric is in danger of being torn apart. As a mushkil halat me, 
एक हस्ती ने कश्मीर की भाषा और संस्कृति को संजोए रखा और उसे अपनी एक निजी खूबसूरत पहचान दी दिस पाथ ब्रेकिंग मिस्टिक वुमन पोएट वॉज लल या फिर कहिए लल्ला लल्लेश्वरी लल दिद्दी लल अरिफा The ordinary men and women loved her because she was like one of them. She spoke in colloquial Kashmiri instead of the elitist Sanskrit. While the other poet saints talked about sin, sacrifice, pain, death, Lalla spoke about the oneness of all existence. While the others were lost in worshiping deities and idols, Lalla believed in the inwardness of all spiritual experience she was fearless sky clad she was beyond gender when asked are you not ashamed so bare in front of men she memorably replied is there a man here you see for lalla the body was a mere vehicle for the spirit her values and ideals became the bedrock of kashmiriyat the culture of secularism indigenous to kashmir so profound were these lalwak her words they are sung in the valley even today la 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 nu ra na ra na na कश्मीर की नस नस में गूंजती है लल्ला की आवाज हवाओं को चीर कर दसों दिशाओं में ढूंढती हुई नौ द्वार पीछे छोड़कर छत्तीस तत्वों को लांगती हुई मैं शून्यता के उस पार पहुंची तो जहां देखा वहां पाया मेरे अनंत सत्य को Lalit sings I cast my eyes in 10 directions leaving behind nine gates I leapt across the 36 elements and there beyond the emptiness I beheld everywhere my eternal truth But how does one leave the body to go beyond emptiness First we must understand how we perceive the world with this body Each one of us every day experiences what it is to be awake and in that waking state rests the first part of the atman conscious only of what is outside this is by shwanara the cosmic one pehli jagrat avastha vai shwanar sabhi indriya puri chetna bahar ki or हम संसार को उसकी सारी विविधता में भोगते हैं अर्थात भौतिक स्थिति सेज वाइश्वानरा 
whose body is the combined body of all the creatures in this universe. Seven limbs have I, the shining heaven my head, the sun my eyes, the air of the cosmos my breath, water my lower limbs, fire my heart, earth my feet. The Vaishwanara has 19 mouths through which he enjoys the external world. Smelling, tasting, seeing, hearing, touching, moving, grasping, speaking, eliminating, reproducing, mind, intellect, ego, memory. The energy flow of prana, apana, vyana, Udana Samana
a man stood on the banks of the manikarnika ghat ram naam satya hai ram naam satya hai ram naam satya hai yet another body was being brought in for cremation the man watched as the beer was dipped into the holy ganga he watched as the body was placed on the ground and set alight he watched as the fire crackled and consumed flesh and bone until there was nothing left of the person except a handful of ash the man shook his head in wonder how much we do for this body this sarir only to end up like this mutthi bhar rakh अरे भैया हमरा तो एक ही शरीर है वन बॉडी बट फाइव थीव्स एक कोट पन सिकदारे एंड दे ऑल वॉन्ट टू लूट मी लस्ट एंगर एरगेंस ग्रीड अटैचमेंट एंड दिस टैक्स कलेक्टर हमरा मन राम राम काहे सताते हैं भैया दिस इज वॉट आई डिड आई प्रेड टू माई विवेक माई डिस्क्रिमिनेशन एंड सुकर है ही सेव्ड मी द सैंग कबीर अ वीवर इन द फिफ्टीन सेंचुरी shloka taijasa the dream state mind turned inwards eyes closed yet seeing no sound yet hearing imagine pleasure imagine pain this is dream consciousness taijasa the luminous one dusri avastha taijas sapno ki avastha sabhi indriya puri chetna aur samajh अंदर की ओर ये मानसिक स्थिति है
the fifth shloka the state of deep sleep no hungry mind no dream seen in this field of dreamlessness the sleeping self is undivided in a state of bliss this is the third quarter pragnya the knowing one teesri avastha pragnya gehri neend ki avastha आत्मा ब्रह्म में आनंद में लीन ये बौद्धिक स्थिति है Aldeid compares the three states of waking, dreaming and deep sleep to water, ice and slush. In the warmth of the sun there is only water. Isi tarah chetna ke ye teenon avasthaye gyan ki roshni mein ek ho jati hain. Suri salil ko bliss but when we wake up we only have a memory of that bliss is it possible to experience the bliss of deep sleep while being wide awake even evolved saints have grappled with such questions your highness the platform is burning the gallows have been destroyed Surely that man has some magical powers you must come and see for yourself King Bhadragiri heard his courtiers cries and rushed out of his palace where a strange sight greeted him the gallows had been burnt to ashes and the prisoner stood nearby with a beautiful smile on his face and a song on his lips King Bhadragiri knew then that this was no ordinary mortal he fell at the feet of the prisoner and begged to be forgiven this prisoner was no other than the great south indian saint patinatar who had been unjustly sentenced to death by king bhadragiri in that moment the futility of his power and arrogance struck king bhadragiri remorseful and shamed he pleaded with patinatar to accept him as a disciple he then gave up his kingdom and the comforts and riches of his palace and set forth to travel in his guru's footsteps perhaps it was this anguish that gave birth to the pulambal a lament consisting of more than 200 verses in tamil verses that reflect the struggles of an ordinary flawed person someone like me or you or maybe you ek kalam 
a column when oh when will i experience the bliss of sleeping without actually sleeping after controlling arrogance and burning the five senses angaram ulladakki aimbulanai sutterithu thoongamal thoongi sugam peruvathu ekkalam aangaram ulladakki aimbulanai sutterithu தூங்காமல் தூங்கி சுகம் பெறுவது எக்காலம் ஆங்காரம் உள்ளடக்கி divine light glowing gently in your heart and imagine this divine light is spreading all through your body have a gentle smile on your lips feel this joyful impulse vibrating in every cell of your body 
totally relax. The sixth shloka further describes Pragnya. Lord of all, knower of all, inner controller, the source, the womb, the dissolution, the end. Sampurna Srishtika Ishwar, Sarvagya, Antaryami, Samast Jivo ki Utpatti ka Shrot, Ek Matra Sanchalak, Sabka Adi Bhivahi. The sixth shloka describes Pradnya, the state of deep sleep. Bhadragiri yearns to wake up to Pradnya. And Ramana Maharshi says that there is only one real Siddhi or supernatural power, and that is to realize the divinity that lies within each of us. All other siddhis that one might attain in the course of spiritual practice are but like experiences in a dream. When you wake up, are they real? Chittamai ulporulai terndiret 
கல் சித்தி சித்தமாய் come to the crux of the mandokya upanishad the seventh shloka which describes a fourth state of consciousness the three different states of consciousness waking dreaming deep sleep are not only experienced by us we also remember them and it is this awareness in each that is turiya or simply the fourth அவர்ணனீயக்ஷன் swayam ki anubhuti its essence is its perception of itself sabhi karma kriyaon ka ant the visible world ceases to be atha shanti param anand infinite peace supreme bliss advait non dual yahi atma yahi lakshya this the self this the goal of dawn guru nanak would go to the local river to bathe one day he just didn't return his friend bhai mardana went to look for him but there was no sign of him only his clothes on the river bank neatly folded hours passed and everyone lost hope 
but not his sister. She said with conviction, he will return. He has a destiny to fulfill. Three days later, he returned and spent a whole day in deep, silent meditation. After this experience, his only goal was to spread the message of oneness of all beings. He conveyed it in the Mool Mantra. <laughs> There is only one truth and that is Omkar. So this realization beyond body, mind, intellect, this is Turiya. The fourth, this is what Guru Nanak experienced. The following lines are from a Shabad by Guru Nanak from the Guru Granth Sahib Ji. They closely resemble the seventh sloka of Mandukya Upanishad. <laughs> Sleep has fallen away. I can slumber no more. For eons I have been awake in the sleeplessness of yoga. So sang Ram Prashad in his kali intoxicated state. His prolific poetry was addressed to the dark goddess Kali. The Shakti, the energy, the vibration of the absolute consciousness, Brahman. For Ram Prashad, Kali was not different from his own soul. And very often, his poetry was a conversation between his soul and his mind. Monere Krishikaj Janona. Oh, mind, you don't know the art of farming. Amon mano bujami rohi lo pati tabat kor le pols do shona. This human birth lies fallow. If only you had nurtured it, it would have yielded gold. Sharada! Hey, Sharada! Uthai luki achi. Jaliya marlo meta. Kali dako dhaka dhaki. Dhaka dhaki korchish. Dhaka dhaki. Dhaka dhaki. Dhaka dhaki. Ghuchuk phaki. Aloy kor maya ki tara. Oh mother, 
Reveal yourself before my mind's eye, sings Ram Prashad. Peppered with rustic lore and the day-to-day -day life of the village, Ram Prashad's verse addressed his mother with intimacy. Wonderingly at times, Ke jane re kali kamun. Who knows what Kali is like? Demandingly at other times, Kargo ke tor hater bhushan hate shudhu rak bedhora. Is that a sword or a mere ornament in your hand, O oh mother? Complete surrender at other times. Shokoli tomari cha icha moi tara tumi tomar karmo tumi karuma loke bole kori You do everything, O oh mother. We only think we do it. This time, I have found the essence. I have found a person who comes from a place where there is no night. Sleep has fallen away. I can sleep no more. Inside, 
and out. How vain and empty it looked. Vulnerable bodies, difficult lives. These were ordinary men and women like you and me. How light my body, touched by abundant rapture and bliss. Like a cotton tuft born on the breeze, it seems to be floating. So many have described this state of bliss as light, weightless, floating. The Theragata and the Terigata are a collection of a multitude of voices. In their expression of struggle and bliss, we find inspiration. stars. The night for one who knows is for staying awake. My preceptor said to me, let's go from here Sivaka. My body stays in the village. My mind has gone to the wilds. Even though lying down, I go. There's no time down. One who knows. What existed before creation? There was a vibration in the absolute consciousness. That vibration was Om. Sage Mandukya related Om to the states of consciousness, A uh, to the waking consciousness, U to the dreaming consciousness. Mm, to the deep sleep consciousness.
जेथे जातो तेथे तू माझा सांगाती वेर एव्हर आय गो युअर ऑलवेज विथ मी सो सँग तुकाराम टू हिज बिलाविट विठ्ठल डीपली फेल्ट एक्सप्रेसिंग एव्हरी मोमेंट ऑफ हिज जर्नी अँड हिज एक्सपिरियन्सेस दीज सिम्पल मराठी वर्सेस अभंग कॅप्चर द हार्ट्स ऑफ हिज फेलो विलेजर्स अँड नाव इवन फॉर सेंचुरीज लेटर वी स्टील सिंग दॅम विथ अ सेम फॉर अँड डिवोशन इन द अभंग वी विल नाव सिंग टू यू ओंकार प्रधान रूप गणेशाचे ही डिस्क्राईब्स द अ उ अँड म ऑफ ओम ॲज द ट्रिनिटी ब्रह्मा विष्णू अँड महेश दॅट इमर्ज इन गणेशा Vaishwanara, the waking state, is the syllable A. Om ki pehli matra A. Jagrat avastha, Vaishwanara, bhautik sthiti. Rana, re, Aijasa the dream state is a syllable u om ki dusri matra u taijas sapno ki avastha manasik sthiti ra na tri re ra na nu swapna sa
Jagnya, the state of deep sleep, is the syllable M. Om ki tisri matra M. Pradnya, gehri neend ki avastha, bodhik sthiti. Driving deep within, I conversed with him. No mountains to cross, no need to reach Ketch. The poetry of Shah Abdul Latif, Sufi of Sin, is suffused with the imagery of his desert homeland. His verses sing of women who are lovers and seekers, who navigate the punishing terrain of sands in search of union and oneness. One of them, Susui, wanders across the desert crossing innumerable hurdles in search of a lover, Punhu. his own image, becomes his own beloved, embraces his own creation. I am this, that, life, death, friend, enemy, breath of breath is he. Myself was Punhu. Only as Susui did I feel grief.
like Sasui, who felt no grief when she realized she was no different from Punu, the seeker loses all sorrow when she merges with the divine. The last shloka describes this state. The self merges with the self. Atma parmatma me leen. Ye has samadhi ki avastha. Amatra. Mm se pare ki nishabdata. Turiya. Yehi nirgun brah. The word Om with no parts is unstruck sound. A vibration so subtle it is soundless. This is the fourth, Turiya. Beyond worldly transactions, supreme bliss, no other. Those who know Om as the Self become the Self. Truly they become the Self. 